Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you some good advice. How to survive art school. You may be returning to school or you may be a freshman. First time around. Well, you're in good hands because I have survived art school. Not just survived, I thrived. I graduated from some great schools and I did really well while I was there. So I'm gonna share with you um, some good stuff so I can help you get through this. College can be scary. Um, if this is the first time for you and it's, it's not high school, it's a new beginning and it's serious, right? <laughs> so there's a couple things that you can do to prepare yourself for what's to come. Okay, so first thing you can do is get yourself a planner or a sketchbook. I have an example right here. What I did is that I took a sketchbook slash notebook and I turned it into a planner. And inside of it, I marked off the days. And this became my planner. And essentially, you want to create a space where you will plan everything. You will have your assignments listed, the homework that's due, important dates to remember, um, notes, tickets for things with the, oh, it's my graduation ticket. Who wants to go? Oh my God, seven years ago. So essentially what you wanna do is just have one location for everything so you're not scrambling around you know, for like loose papers or, you know, things that can get lost, have a location for it, you know, have the directions to where you're supposed to meet at your next class right here, you know, have all the important information and documents and stuff that you can just kind of tape in here or whatever. This way, you're not scrambling, it's all in one location. So planner or sketchbook, do it. The next thing you need to do is get yourself a really good bag or portfolio, uh, especially if you are commuting to school or you have to use like a locker system and you have a locker mate, which can not be fun. <laughs> um, you need to have something sturdy so that you can stash all of your essentials and not worry about it busting and leaving things behind. You'll be traveling from class to class and in between classes you may have time where you can work on assignments. So being able to have a good book bag or a portfolio that you can house all of your materials is really vital to your success. When I was in school I had a one of those over the shoulder bags where I would carry, you know, some books and things like that. But I had this really great portfolio and it wasn't like the standard, like, you know, those black typical, like the zip up ones where you, it really was just like for the oversized sheets. But it had, it was like a fabric, but it was sturdy and it had a ton of pockets and just different things where you can store brushes and there was a place for almost like everything. So I was able to store different pencils and my inks and uh, paints and just different types of sketchbooks and it did get heavy <laughs> and that thing was so beat up. I still have it and I needed it because I traveled through subway and bus and my commute could be an hour and a half to two hours every day and you know traveling so long I couldn't just run back home and get something. So I had a location that was on me at all times for all of my things so that I was prepared for class. So besides um, the material stuff that will help you um, get ready for success, to help you survive school, there's also some practical things. All right, so one of the biggest things I can tell you is do not procrastinate. This is a huge, huge one. And once you get in the habit of procrastinating, it's, it's hard to break. But once you get into the habit of being proactive, you really become 
addicted to it. <laughs> And you see how it's going to further your education. As soon as you get an assignment, start it. You know, don't say, oh, it's due in two weeks. Hmm. How many classes do you have? All of them are going to give you work. All of them. Every single one of them. And they're all going to be due in two weeks. So as soon as you get your work, you know, go hit up the library. If you have to have a reading assignment, you know, go check the book out. If you purchase the book, spend time reading it that night. If you have to make some studies in your sketchbook, go ahead. If you have time in between classes or if you're a commuter, you have time on the train to work. Find every moment of your day and put it into good use. Get into the habit of really prioritizing your time. You're paying for school. Maybe your parents are paying for it. Great for you. <laughs> but, you know, this isn't the time to mess around. This is the time to get serious. This is the time that you have to prove yourself as, you know, a person here. You're not going to just be given a good grade. You have to really earn it. So take the time to really pour into your work and it's going to show in your studies. It's going to show in the artwork that you produce. The more energy you put into it, the more you're going to get back. The more successful the pieces are going to be. So do not procrastinate. Get to work now, okay? All right, here's another important thing. College can be very stressful. Yes. Art school, yes, absolutely. You need to make time to get your mental health and your physical health in check. So what does that mean? Stress can definitely damage your health. You can be more susceptible to catching like common colds, um, breaking down to things like the flu and even bigger things. And yes, us artists, we tend to have more mental health issues than other categories of people. So if you know that this is something that you struggle with, definitely make sure that you are seeing a therapist. If there are school counselors available, make use of them. Check in with yourself. Try to get physical activity. Make sure that you're eating well. Remember, if you have your mental health in check, your physical health in check, your artwork is gonna be great. You're gonna be able to produce from a good place. You're going to be very productive. When these things are working against you, you're not going to be able to produce, you're gonna miss classes, your grades are gonna suffer, and it's gonna be like the snowball effect and you're gonna be scrambling and you're gonna feel like you're drowning. I'm already feeling stressed just talking about it. Um, I've been there, I have been there. Um, when I was in school and I was trying to find the right medication to go on and the doctor that I was seeing wasn't the greatest and it was too high of a dosage and I was oversleeping and missing classes and the side effects were terrible and it affected my work. And one of the classes I did terrible in I just couldn't get up on time and it affected my vision. It was terrible. Awful, awful, awful. So my grade suffered, right? So this is important. You are important. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Okay. Okay. So what else? So yes, you're in college and you want to have the college experience and you want to go out and you want to party and you want to do all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. I get it. But don't go now. Don't go nuts. This is not a time to act stupid every other night and say, well, I'm in college. No, don't be the idiot. Don't. Now is the time to make your friends, make your connections, because all of these people that you're, you're all in the same boat, when you guys get out of here, you're going to help each other out. Hopefully you're with the same like-minded people that are awesome and super cool. I hope so. <laughs> You know, don't go nuts with the partying. Don't be the stupid person who's drinking all the time or getting into drugs. Don't be a moron, okay? You came here to learn. You came here 
to kick your portfolio into gear and get a kick-ass job or be ready for a kick-ass job when you're out of here, okay? So don't be that person. Have some fun, sure, but be smart about it, okay? All right, my last piece of advice for you, and it's a good one, <laughs> but I want for you to make friends with your teachers. I don't mean like, you know, you're going out with them, you're, you know, you're best friends with them. I want for you to, you know, get to know your teachers, get to know who they are, really learn from them. Don't be afraid to ask them for help. They're really here to help you learn, to help you grow as an artist. If you're struggling, if you have issues outside, stuff going on at home or in your relationship and it's holding you back, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to them. Hey, I'm struggling. You know, maybe they could point you in the right direction to get some help. If they're, if you're having trouble with anatomy, maybe they can redirect you to a book to study. Andrew Loomis is awesome. Um, you know, they're there for you. Do not be afraid to seek their assistance outside of the classroom. They may have office times available to you. There may be an email that you can um, contact them through. I'm sure they will have a system in place that um, is approved by them for you to reach out to them. So they'll let you know that I'm sure on the first day of class. Um, don't be afraid to utilize them. They're there for you. I'm still in contact with quite a few of my teachers, awesome people, and I'm still learning from them. So I wanted to let you guys know that I am a Blick affiliate and what that means is for this video and every future video, I will be sharing the current deals that they share with me in the description box below. So you'll get a link and the coupon code so you can have fun shopping. I will also be sharing that information in our Facebook group, Amazon Art Tribe. So if you're on Facebook and haven't joined, come and join us. It's a fun group where we talk about art and all that good stuff. So come and join us. We won't bite. Promise. <laughs> so I hope you plan to make the most of your art school experience and just go in with an open mind. Be ready to work. Be willing to learn. And don't stop drawing. Okay? <laughs> Keep making art. Please let me know in the comments below. What are you nervous about this year? What do you got butterflies about? All right guys, so hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos with your favorite Amazon and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. All right guys, see you in a future video.